Okay guys, it's JH, welcome back. Alright now, these are just little things that will help. It'll just help different people on different for different reasons, but and again I want to explain the nuances nuances and the intricacies of of, of channel lock and, and lay back and hit up. If you're hitting up, really you can have this happening and that the hands will come up too high it'll be an artificial hit up what we want to happen guys is that the club head goes up we don't we don't want to lift up with the hands we just we want the hand staying down in the radius and the club going up like that so how do you get that to happen well you just think low hands through the ball through impact we're coming in with, we're, with the club is going up but we want the hands low clubs going up but the hands are low we don't want the hands coming up that's how you'll get too much pushback and you'll shorten the radius and you'll get no hit you've got to keep the hands down to keep the radius um, strong here here the clubs going up but the hands are staying down very important point I'll just hit one and demonstrate that Now that's exaggerated, but that was forcing the hands down. And, and you could hit a couple of shots doing that. And, and that gives you the feeling that the hands are really going to stay low even though the club is going up. Now that looked like it was a choked off action. It was because I was trying to force the hands down. Of work going on here guys okay so now you'll get that look about you if you force the hands down and let the club head come up it's basically that see how the hands are still down in the radius and the club heads going up you don't want to bring the hands up that'll give you a really shortened radius and a very very weak shot but that can happen, I mean, the, the, the message of hitting up can get you to do that, but you can do it with your hands. We don't want to do it with the hands, we just want to do it with the wrist hinging and the club head going up. Let's right, see so if we can put it all together. Come on, Jay, soft hands. All right, we'll put it all together in a, in a normal swing. That gets, that gives us so much acceleration. Quiet body, quiet body. That's what I've got to do. I've just got to have that little ready pause at the top. Guys, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still building my my protocol. And and the tempo is the hardest thing in the world for me. Because that really is a big physiological change for me. Yeah, it feels good. That feels good. Come on, Jade. Stay over here. There it is, guys. There's the swing. Whatever that looks like, that's the swing. And, and why haven't I, I called the, the CL, the final protocol, because I haven't got it yet. And I wanted to make sure it was perfect before I thought of commercialising it. But that's basically where I want to be, watch this. That's where I want to be, right there. That's where I want to be, guys. But I've got to work on it, that's hard to do. It's hard to do. Why is it hard? Because you've got to stay back and keep the shoulders closed and keep the body quiet.
There it is, guys. Wow, the hit on that's unbelievable. You can hear that. No question you can hear that. No question you can hear that. These are real development days, guys. Real development. I'm aiming at a target left and right of a target out here, and it's just not moving. The wind's having no effect on it. None. See how quick the arms are going. That's because the body's quiet. See if I can get the body quieter again, more more quiet too. Wow. A couple on this angle here. See, my feet are down all the time now, guys. Why are they down all the time now? Because I'm really working on it. I'm really thinking about keeping them down all the time. There's the layback. Okay, when you get on the on the camera, you just do things quickly for expediency. Right, let's put, put real tempo into this. It's my practice session guys, what I'm really working on today. I only gotta hear it. You only gotta hear it, baby. Okay. Guys, I got a a really <laughs> big wake up the other day. Craig Guthrie. Uh picked up one of my old videos from five years ago exactly where I was doing uh, the um, original um, and guys go back and have a look at this video if you haven't seen it it's called putter to driver swing mechanics and I did that five years ago and it was it was nothing to do with channel lock but it was the germ of channel lock when you look at it it was the the germ of channel lock but what I noticed in that video that Craig sent me five years ago was how strong my golf swing was and how strong looking I was five years ago. Guys, uh, old age creeps up on you insidiously. I couldn't believe the difference physically in my look now to, to then and, and the power I had in my golf swing then five years ago. So what I did was I got so taken back by that that I upped my training program that very day and I've just up to 30 to 40 percent and I'm going to get back my athleticism and my strength and my speed. So I'm going to try and put a bit of speed into this golf swing that I had five years ago. Thanks for that, Craig, because you really did alert me into how <laughs> the physical decay can just come upon us. And, it, and it's insidious because it happened so slowly. Five years ago, exactly, that I did that video. But have a look, guys. It's called Putter to Driver Swing Mechanics. It was the was the germ of channel lock even though I didn't know it at the time. Watch this. And guys, if, if that's not a free arm swing, I don't know what is. There's hardly anybody in that at all, is there? That's just a free arm swing. The body's just a support unit. Wow. All right, now I'll try and get a little bit of layback, uh, sort of drop back. Oh my goodness. When you get that layback, you really flex the shaft. That's carried another 15 in the air. Absolutely murdered that. And I mean, I really murdered that. And that was that was a really conscious layback. Yeah. Let's see if we can do another one of them. There it is, guys. Yeah. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to hit myself on the ankle with the club. How do I do that here? I have to do that. That's how you get the underplane. Yeah. I do it with the club head. 
some some people try and drop their shoulder. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I just I just turn the the forearms and the wrists. I mean that was just a bullet. Hit one this way. These are unbelievable guys. These are unbelievable golf shots. And I'm just so happy that I've I've got my trail foot down so much at the moment. Come on, Jason. There it is, look at this guys, look. And look at this pushback. Might as well hit these shots here. It's my practice session. I want to have a look at it when I go home. I'm glad I backed that pressure, grip pressure down. Made such a big difference. You know what that is guys? That's just an arm swing being supported by the body. With the body just going along as, as an accompaniment. Watch this, guys. Quiet body here, guys. This is the feel I've got here. Here, that's what I feel. Do that drill I told you. They are, they're just nuked, those shots. Absolutely nuked. Five iron here, guys. Well, oh, that's a bit short of it. Since I've been on channel lock. The only thing with this grip, guys, that I can't come to grip with, the eight finger grip, is I can't keep my lead thumb on the shaft. Like Mo Norman did. Mo Norman had it there. I think Lee Camo does. I can't get it there. It keeps going over here. I don't know why. No idea. If the sun's right, guys, I'm going to hit some shots down range. Beautiful blue sky today. I'll have to come back and set the camera. Watch this last shot. Okay, they're quick. But gee, they're good rhythm. They're quick rhythm, but they're good rhythm. Okay guys, just my practice session today incorporating a few things, part of the development. 